counselors and the school committee. Uh, and save your applause until the end, if you would, please. Timothy J. Cruz. <coughs> Thomas Monahan, Dennis Ioneri, Paul Stadinsky, Dennis DiNapoli, Michelle Dubois, Shirley Azak, Shana Barnes, Moses Rodriguez, Jazz Stewart, Robert Sullivan. <coughs> Thomas Minicello, Andrew Robinson, mm -hmm. Alicia Clark, Patricia Joyce, Judy Sullivan, Michael Healy, Raymond Henningsen. remain standing as the color god uh, comes into the yep. chamber. Gentlemen, would you join me in a salute to the flag? Present, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, be seated, please. I have to admit, we've witnessed the first, first time that all of God left the rules to change without trying to take the chandelier with us. <laughs> so we're at that point in this meeting where we have the election of the President Pro Tem. Uh, the nominations are open. Councilor Stadinsky. I nominate Councilor Dennis DiNapoli. There a second on the... I um, second that. I close the nominations, Mr. Clark. Second. Nominations have been properly opened, properly seconded, and closed. Well, uh, Councilor DiNapoli has been nominated to be the president pro temp. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Present. Barnes. Present. Cruz. Yes. Panapoli. Yes. Bois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative, Mr. Clerk. Eleven in the affirmative. Councilor Dinopoli has been elected president pro temp. Councilor Dinopoli, will you take the podium, please?
Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Good morning, everybody. Uh, would, if you have a cell phone, would you please turn them down so we don't interrupt this ceremony? I'd like to appoint <coughs> Councillors Ianeri, Cruz, Rodriguez, Sullivan, and Stewart to examine the credentials of the newly elected school committee and city councillors. Thank you. Recorded and placed on file. <coughs> Councilors Dubois, Monaghan, Azak, Barnes, please notify that the mayor, the, the, the mayor elect, that the city council has formed a temporary organization and is ready to administrate the oath of office and to receive and to receive his inaugural address. <coughs> We're in recess. Yeah. Yeah. President, the mayor has been informed that the city council has formed a temporary organization. Thank for the report from council. Mr. President. Yes, council. Report replace, uh, re <laughs> placed on file. Request, the mayor be escorted. Request that the mayor be es ex uh, es escorted by Council Dubois, Azak, Bond, Stewart, Rodriguez, and Councilor Ianeri. Everybody, please remain standing. We'll hear now from Rabbi Foster from Temple Beth Imon for invocation. Rabbi. We come together at the darkest and coldest times of year and ask for warmth and light, light to illumine the tasks that stand before our leaders and warmth for our souls and spirits as together we march forward. Today we gather with a unity of purpose. It is not the power of our words, but the commitment of our actions and courage of our ideals that will allow all of us here assembled to strive towards a better, stronger Brockton. We call on God in many names, and we also call on each other to realize the blessings of fruitful partnership, energize our leaders to inaugurate new ideas, to allow the dedication of our leaders already in office and those newly elected to lead substantive change and improvement. Cause doubt, despair, and discouragement to remain absent from the holy work of lifting up our citizens, communities, and city. Bless our leaders that they may realize the power of their own words and the power of their innate gifts that they might better serve our city and you. 
In the words of the psalmist, unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain on it. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman keeps vigil in vain. May the Almighty we call upon partner with our leaders in this holy work. Amen. Amen. Will everybody please be seated? Mr. Clerk will now ad admit the oath of office to the mayor. <laughs> Promise me I wouldn't end up married this morning. <laughs> Raise your right hand, insert your name after I, and repeat after me. I, I, Bill Carpenter, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and will support the Constitution thereof, and will support the Constitution thereof, so help me God, so help me God, I, I, Bill Carpenter, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially, discharge and perform, discharge and perform, all the duties of comfort upon me, all of the duties incumbent upon me as the mayor of the city of Brockton as the mayor of the city of Brockton according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability and understanding and understanding agreeably to the rules and regulations agreeably to the rules and regulations of the commonwealth of the commonwealth and the ordinances of the city of Brockton and the ordinances of the city of Brockton i I, Bill Carpenter, to solemnly swear, to solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations. To that. I'd like to have a moment of silence for all our friends and co-workers who have passed away. A moment of silence, please. Thank you very much. Chris, <clears throat> request, now I request the members of the City Council to please stand and answer present when their name is called by the City Clerk. Timothy Cruz. Present. Thomas Monaghan. Present. Dennis Ionieri. Present. Paul Studinsky. Present. Dennis DiNapoli. Present. Michelle Dubois. Present. Shirley Azak. Present. Shana Barnes. Present. Moises Rodriguez. Present. Josh Stewart. Present. Robert Sullivan. Present. Mr. Clerk will now administer the oath of office to the councilors elect. Would you raise your right hand, insert your name after I, and repeat after me. I, 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 I do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts will support the Constitution thereof it will support the Constitution thereof so help me God so help me God I Dennis Raymond I solemnly swear I solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties that come upon me all the duties that come upon me as a counselor in the city of Brockton as a counselor According to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, and understanding, and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Commonwealth, of the Commonwealth, and the ordinances of the City of Brockton, and the ordinances of the City of Brockton. Help me God. So help me God. I, 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 I solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations, Council, and I'll have you come up and sign the oath book, and we'll start with Ward 1. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. 
Okay. Thank you, sir. Council Ward Three, right, back right me. behind me. Huh? I forgot how to do this. <laughs> I got the <clears> pen <throat> too. That's a great pen. Got it is a wonderful <laughs> pen, supplied by you. Thank you. Congratulations. <coughs> Council Ward Four. Council of Ward 5. We get to keep the pen? No, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Council of Ward 6. That's how I got it. <laughs> Councilor Stewart. That's great. Congratulations. Councilor Sullivan at large. Council Rodriguez at large. Will everyone stand for a prayer by Reverend Michael Walker from <coughs> Methodist <coughs> Baptist Church? Reverend Walker? Ever living God, we thank you for this day, but more than a day of mere celebration. Inspire a faith, a determination a commitment to move beyond the politics of politicians to a politics of justice, righteousness, and steadfast love. We trust you, God. Amen. 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 Will everybody please be seated? Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll call of the elected school committee members and <clears throat> a request that the members please stand and answer present. Thank you. 
when their names are called. Mr. Clerk? Thomas Minicello. Present. Andrew Robinson. Present. Alicia Clark. Present. Patricia Joyce. Present. Judy Sullivan. Present. Michael Healy. Present. Raymond Henningsen. Present. Mr. Clerk, would you please administer the oath of office to the newly elected school committee members? Would you raise your right hand, <coughs> insert your name after I, and repeat after you? I, 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 I do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. I, I, Patricia Joyce, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties that come upon me as a member of the Brockton School Committee according to the best of my abilities and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations of Commonwealth of Massachusetts, of the City of Brockton, so help me God. I, I, Andy Robinson, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And we'll have you come up by your representing wards and have the oath book signed. Tom? If you would, right there. I'm sure that the president right now is uh, his eyes on what six will be shared throughout the city yet as according to the wishes of the Reverend. What do you think? And what? <coughs> <seven. coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our newly elected school committee. I have the pleasure to introduce the Honorable William J. Carpenter, who will now del deliver his inaugural address. Mr. Mayor. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I uh, first of all would like to personally thank the members of the clergy who are participating in this morning's inauguration, uh, Rabbi Alana Ross, Foss, I'm sorry, Rabbi Alana Foss, Father Jim Flavin, 
and Pastor Michael Walker. And I would also like to acknowledge the former mayors seated alongside me this morning, Mayors Wainwright, Harrington, and Units. Thank you so much for being here. I am both uh, humbled and honored to stand before you this morning as your new mayor. I look forward to seeking the advice and counsel of our, of our former mayors and to working with all of you. I'm pleased to share this ceremony this morning with the elected members of the school committee and city council who have also just been sworn. Congratulations to all of you. Your decision to serve the residents of Brockton in your capacity has us all striving to improve the quality of life in Brockton. I look forward, I look forward to working with all of you. And I also would like to welcome the newest members of the school committee, Ray Henningsen, Judy Sullivan, and Alicia Clark, along with our three new city councilors, Shirley Asak, Shana Barnes, and Moses Rodriguez. You are changing the landscape of government. I'm also thankful to be able to share today with my father, Bill Carpenter, who's seated right in the front row. Stand up, Dad. Here we are. My dad is part of the greatest generation. Raised during the Great Depression, he enlisted in the Navy at the age of 17 and served in both the Philippines and China during World War II. And my dad, like so many of our Brockton seniors, reminds me of what is really important in life, family. So thank you, Dad, and thank you to all of our senior citizens. Also here with me today uh, is my, my girlfriend and my best friend, Julie, along with five of my children. And I'm not sure if I should thank them or apologize to them. <laughs> the toughest part of the campaign was watching my loved ones suffer when people would say or post very hurtful things about me. But the family endured. They are here with me today, and I love all of you. I look around the room and I see so many of my friends and supporters here to share the moment with me this morning. And I am so proud to see so many new faces added to the process. And to those of you who work so hard and sacrifice so much to make this moment possible, I will be forever grateful. And I will hold your hard work as my guide so I do not let you down. The campaign is over. And to those of you who did not support me, I ask you now to join me so that, may we, so that we may work together to build a new and better Brockton. Today I offer a three-point strategic plan for Brockton's future. To restructure the operation of city government, to revitalize our city's economy, and to rebuild safe and clean neighborhoods. Looking at how we currently operate city government, I am reminded of Albert Einstein's definition of insanity. He said insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It's time to make Brockton a 21st century city and implement an information technology strategic plan. If we're to operate government efficiently and professionally, then we must invest in the latest tools and technology. Quite simply, utilizing data to drive management and budget decisions will allow us to deliver city services better, faster, and cheaper and it will make us accountable. While utilizing technology to improve performance and reduce costs, we must also develop additional sources of revenue so that we may provide real property tax relief to Brockton homeowners and business owners. Pursuing the development of our water, sewer, and electricity resources offers the potential for millions of dollars of revenue to the city. Real property tax relief will only be achieved by increasing revenues while reducing costs. Property tax relief is directly linked to our economic development. As we spur investment and development in the city, we will then expand the tax base so that a larger number of property owners can pay a proportionately lower rate while still growing our revenues. With proper planning and incentives, Brockton can once again become a land of opportunity
for entrepreneurs, small business owners, and developers for years to come. But that boom will not happen unless we eliminate the current anti-business climate and instead create a climate of attraction that makes people want to invest in our city. Starting today, the city of Brockton is open for business. I'm pleased to announce this morning the creation of a blue ribbon panel of government and business leaders who will work in concert with the Mayor's Office and the City Council to establish an Office of Economic Development, City Planning, and Community Planning. We do not need a think tank, we need a do tank. No more studies, we need action, and more importantly, we need results. Any development plan for Brockton must include a blueprint for the revitalization of the downtown business district while simultaneously looking at the Campello and Montello business districts following the Main Street corridor from Avon to West Bridgewater. I believe we can adopt successful strategies from cities like Lowell and Worcester that will include a community development corporation, tax credits, creation of enterprise and overlay zones, and the location of a downtown satellite college campus that will serve as an anchor for downtown development. And ladies and gentlemen, our most important goal is to make our city livable once again. We will reclaim our city street by street, block by block, one neighborhood at a time. The Brockton Police Department, working with an alliance of county, state and federal law enforcement agencies, will target gang leaders and drug dealers and remove them from our neighborhoods. We will develop neighborhood associations across the city who will work closely with police and other city agencies to clean up their neighborhoods. Abandoned cars, trash, graffiti, and broken windows will no longer be tolerated, and the city will reinvest in parks and playgrounds. My vision for Brockton is a city in which every family has the opportunity to live in a safe, clean neighborhood, earn an income, and have their children receive a high-quality public school education. And let me be clear, when I reference safe, clean neighborhoods, that includes the elderly high-rises. I will not accept our senior citizens living in fear or in substandard conditions. <laughs> Two weeks from today, we will celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King, Jr. Dr. King once said, we may have all come on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. <laughs> Take a look around the room. Isn't that, doesn't that describe Brockton today? We may have all come on different ships, but today we all share a stake in the future of our city. Now is the time for us all to work together to improve the quality of life in our city to bring back residents that have left, keep residents and businesses here that are planning to leave, and to stimulate private investments to help those who have been left behind. To my partners on the school committee and the city council, I share with you the words of President John F. Kennedy, Jr. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix blame for the past, let us accept our own responsibility for the future. We were elected to fight to reduce crime, to create prosperity and jobs, and to improve education, and to reclaim our parks and playgrounds. I stand here before you today, prepared to lead, and ready to work together with you to rebuild our great city. Thank you. God bless you. God bless our city.
you. How are you? Everybody, please be seated just for a moment. Today we are honored to have some of our elected officials here, here today, and uh, they're in no particular order. It's how I rounded them up today. We have uh, Senator Tom Kennedy present. We have former State Senator Robert Creedon and now Clerk of the Court. We have a District Attorney Tim Cruz in the back row. We have uh, John Buckley, Registry of Deeds. We have State Representative Mike Brady. State Representative Claire Cronin. <laughs> Standing together, we have County Commissioners Craig Healy and Sandra Wright. <laughs> we also have Mark Lindy from Southeastern Regional Vocational School. We have former uh, City Councilor Tom Plouffe with us today. <laughs> My good friend, George Cataldo, former City Council Ward 6 of that line. I don't think I missed anybody. Right? Okay. Pardon me? Jerry. Oh, I'm sorry. Former State Representative Jerry Creighton. And we, we thank them all for being here on this great day. Uh, next on the agenda, if I lose my place here. Uh, next on the agenda is... Please stand. <laughs> Father Fa Flavor is going to get me. Ladies and gentlemen, a benediction from my good friend, my former pastor, Father Flavor. Loving God, we thank you for the gift of life and for this community that we love. Thank you for the women and men who have worked tirelessly in our city to promote the common good. We lift up to you this day the citizens of our city. You know the hearts of each of us, O oh Lord, from Pearl Street to Quincy, from Oak Street to Plain. We all want a better day for our children, a safe and secure neighborhood with hope for better days ahead. Bless with your wisdom those who educate our children. Bless with your courage those who protect us from harm, fire, and disaster. Bless with your strength all those municipal workers of our fine city. And today, loving God, bless this new administration. Grant our mayor, city council, and school committee your vision. Help them to work together to hold the truths that all are created equal and all are made in your image. We ask all this through your holy name. Amen. 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 I call a recess. <laughs> Councilors, are we ready? Yes. We're ready. <laughs> call a meeting to order. And before we start, we have a uh, former school committee man from uh, Ward uh, three. 3, Mr. Uh, uh, Tony Donegan is here. Tony. Well, offici officially it's Anthony, but we like Tony. <clears throat> okay. I now open the uh, nominations for the election of the 2014 City Council President. Mr. President. Yes. 
Mr. President, it gives me great pleasure to nominate my good friend, City Council at Large, Robert Sullivan, as our Council President for 2014. Second. Mr. President, I move to close the nominations. Second. Councilman Sullivan has been nominated and nominations have been properly closed. The City Clerk will call the roll. Councilor Robert Sullivan. Barnes. Councilor Robert Sullivan. Cruz. Councilor Bob Sullivan. Annapolis. Councilor Robert Sullivan. Dubois. Councilor Robert Sullivan. <coughs> Councilor Attorney Robert Sullivan. Monaghan. Councilor Bob Sullivan. Rodriguez. Councilor Bob Sullivan. Stewart. Robert Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Sedinsky. Tommy Sullivan's dad, Councilor Robert Sullivan. <laughs> Robert Sullivan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for 2014, the new council president, Bob Sullivan. Council President Tim Cruz would please come up to the podium. Now I get to leave. Thank goodness. <laughs> Councilor Sullivan, we could have used you half an hour ago. <laughs> I'm just going to remind you one thing. This is how loud <laughs> you bang the gavel. Bang it often. Thank you, Councilor. Good luck. Thank you. I want to, uh, first of all, thank uh, my colleagues on the Council. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege uh, to get your vote of confidence and I will uh, not let you down. As you know, I served in this capacity as Council President in 2008, and I think at all times we need to be professional and we need to have decorum here in the Chamber. So this time I want to uh, welcome back to the podium my friend, my Ward Council, Ward 1 Councilor, and outgoing Council President Timothy Cruz. Historically, uh, when the outgoing president um, leaves on inaugural day, the incoming president gives the gavel. And through the efforts of our fine city clerk, Tony Zioli, we have a wonderful, wonderful uh, plaque that we'd like to give Tim in his capacity. His leadership last year in the year 2013 was unquestionable during tough economic times. So, Timmy, I want to thank you for your efforts. And I look forward to serving with you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to uh, take, take a quick moment to, uh, to, to welcome everybody here to the Council Chamber. This is where we meet on Monday nights uh, when we sit as City Council or Finance Committee. It's your chamber. And we welcome you here today. We welcome you here any Monday night that you choose to come here. We're the legislative body. We serve you. At all times, our profession is we're in the people business. We're public servants. And I proudly serve as your Council President of 2014. I want to thank a few people, if I could. I want to thank my lovely wife, Maria, for being here today. We, we are the, uh, the proud parents, as Councilor Stanetsky said, of, of uh, our son Thomas, our son William, and our daughter Grace, who are at school today. But they're here in spirit. And my mom and dad, Bob and Sue Sullivan, for being here as well. You know, it's, it's strange uh, today to be up here and not see a couple former colleagues, people that have served the City of Brockton admirably, honorably, and that's uh, former councillors Tom Brophy, Todd Petty, Chris McMillan, and Linda Balzotti. I think we owe them really a round of applause. I also would like to, to welcome uh, Councilors at Large Bonds, Councilor at Large Rodriguez, and Ward 7 Councilor, and a classmate from Brockton High, Shirley Azak. Welcome to the Council. <laughs> uh, 
I want to thank the citizens of the city of Brockton who went out to the polls and voted in September and November. As Mayor uh, Carpenter said, the campaign is in the past, and I concur with that. We need to move forward, not just for the present of the city of Brockton, the city of Champions, but for the future. And I think we will do that as a legislative body. At all times, we have to work for the best interest of you. We serve you, the taxpayers, our constituents, and the residents of this great city that we call home. And we will do that. We will do that as an 11-body member, as a strong B form of government. And I look forward to leading this uh, council. You're all friends. You're all colleagues. We're going to have great debate in this, this chamber. We always do. We're not always going to agree. We're going to have some discussions. We're going to have some, some issues that are going to be hard-pressed, hard-fought. But when we walk out of here, we shake hands because at the end of the day, we're doing it for the right reasons, to better Brockton, to better the city. Someone said to me recently, you have three young kids, Bob. Why do you stay in Brockton? Why don't you leave? And my answer was simple. This is home. This is my home. This is your home. This is all of your home. So we're going to continue to better Brockton. We're going to continue to work hard. We're going to tackle the tough issues. And we're going to work through these tough economic times. We're going to work in tandem with the mayor. We're going to work in tandem with the school committee. One of the initiatives as the city council president that I'm going to bring forward, other communities do it, it's long overdue here in the city of Brockton, is every quarter, okay, four times a year, we're going to have a joint meeting with the city council, the school committee, and of course the chair of the school committee, the mayor, Mayor Carpenter, and also the two representatives from the uh, city of Brockton on the southeastern regional school district. We're going to get together and it's going to be Q&A form so that the residents can come. We're going to go to the middle schools. We're going to go around the city. And I think it's the right thing to do. I think it's going to give the ability for the people that want to talk and get the update, the information to do it. It's something that is, again, I said long overdue because really, if you think about it, the only time that the city council and the school committee get together is every two years here at the inaugural. So I think it's something that's uh, going to be beneficial to everybody and I'm going to ask for my colleagues to support on that initiative. I look forward um, to working to represent, as I said, um, the, the, the citizens. It's really an honor and a privilege um, to serve you, and I know I can speak for each and every one that's up here. I also want to thank those that didn't get uh, elected this time, but people but, that put their names out and, and worked hard and campaigned. Because you know what? This election was great, and the, and the, and the future election is going to be great for the city of Brock, and it's something that I'm excited because we're seeing great talent here. We're seeing great diversity here. We're seeing what Brockton is all about. Brockton, as the mayor said when he quoted um, that <coughs> quote, it, it's true. It's, it's a city made of immigrants. You know, my grandparents from Ireland or Italy, or, or it, it doesn't matter where. Now there's a new wave of immigrants, but we're all Brocktonians. We're one strong community. And I look forward to working with all of my colleagues here on the council as a legislative branch, with the executive branch, the chief <coughs> executive officer, Mayor Bill Carpenter, and the school committee, really to do some great, great things. I'm, I would be remiss without thanking um, Tony Zioli, our city clerk, Mark Gilday, our legislative council, and the staff of the city clerk's office. Because, you know, every Monday when we come in here and we have great discussions and we do great, great things for the citizens of the city of Brockton, we couldn't do that without these gentlemen. So I want to thank each and every one of you. I, I'm extremely uh, excited um, to see the talent the talent that's going to be here on the city council, the talent that's going to be within the city of Brockton. Because at the end of the day, as I said, we need to work to better the city. Many, many times uh, the city of Brockton gets, gets trashed in, in, in the press. And, and that's not right. We need to really express the good things, what Brockton is about, the great, great public schools, the great, great people, the businesses that, that stay here, the businesses that are coming here. And we can only do that if we work in collaboration. A good friend of mine, Richard Sergi, former executive director of the Housing Authority, said to me, the art of democracy and the art of diplomacy is the art of compromise. And I think, think through that. I, I, I think he hit it 100% on the head. That's what we need to do in this chamber. And we have done it. We will continue to do it. And I look forward to leading. And I do take uh, what my friend Tim Cruz said seriously. We need at all times to remember that this is what's going to keep the quorum and prof professionalism here. Uh, at times we have seen people come before us and they're passionate and it gets emotional and we can appreciate that because, again, this is the people's chamber. But at the end of the day, we need to maintain decorum and I will do that as the leader of the council this year. I think it's my duty and my obligations. We will follow the, the rules of Robert's rules that's established and we continue to work. Uh, and I would also like to say to the new councillors, don't hesitate at any time 
to come to me, speak to me, or speak to any of the other veterans that are here on the council, because that's what it's about. When I got elected with Councilor Stanansky and Councilor Dubois, and Councilor McMillan at the time, and Council Cruz, we didn't really know what was going on. We didn't understand the practice and procedure of the city council. But we went to the veterans, the people that had been there a while, and now I think we have a really cohesive, really good group of people. So I'm just encouraging you to please do that. Um, one other thing um, that I'm going to pledge is the city council. I will meet with Mayor Carpenter on a regular basis. I did that in 2008, and Mr. Rodriguez would know this, when Mayor Harrington uh, was the mayor, we went in there, and I think that's the right thing to do. It's a way to really have a discussion and to come back and report back to the council on information and updates that we can then convey back to the uh, constituents that we proudly serve. So I just want to thank uh, everybody uh, that's here today. I want to once again congratulate uh, Mayor Carpenter, all the new school committee members, and the, and the incumbents that were re-elected, and of course all my colleagues here on the city council. There's a quote that uh, Teddy Roosevelt said, and I said it in 2008, and I didn't think it would ring true to this day, but it does. And what President Roosevelt said is, do what you can with what you have where you are. Do what you can with what you have where you are. And I think if we listen to that, we dissect it a little bit, we vet it out. What we're going to do here is we're going to do the best possible job as the legislative branch of the City Council for the City of Brockton for the year 2014, and I proudly will represent each and every one of you. I will work for you. I will fight for you because that's what it means to be the Council President. So thank you very much. God bless each and every one of you. God bless the City of Brockton and the United States of America. Thank you so much. Mr. Clark, if you could kindly read of the committees for the year 2014. City Council Committees for the year 2014. Finance Committee, all members of the City Council. Accounts Committee, Dennis DiNapoli Chair, Shana Barnes, Thomas Monaghan, Lucy Rodriguez, Jay Stewart. Beautif Beautification Committee, Shirley Azak. Community Schools, Councilor Barnes. Audience Committee, Councilor Ianeri, Chair, Cruz, Denopoli, Monaghan, Stewart. Public Safety, Councilor Cruz, Chair. Azak, Councilor Denopoli, Councilor Dubois, Councilor Studensky. Real Estate Committee, Councilor Michelle Dubois, Chair. Councilor Azak, Councilor Cruz, Councilor Monaghan, Councilor Studensky. Traffic Committee, Councilor Ian Airy, and Councilor uh, at Large, Moses Rodriguez. <coughs> With that being said, councillors, I look forward to working with the committees. There is no further business. Uh, this meeting is hereby adjourned. <laughs>